Atop a lonely hill, just east of the Ohio River, in Louisville, Kentucky, silently stands Waverly Hills Sanatorium. This behemoth batwing structure is purported to be one of the most haunted places on earth. Come with me to discover the haunting and sorrowful history of Waverly Hills Sanatorium as we look under the veil. In the early 1900s, much of the United States was gripped by an epidemic of tuberculosis, also known as the White Plague. Life-saving antibiotics were decades away. All that society could do was segregate the poor infected souls to sanatoria, which often served more as prisons than medical facilities. The Waverly Hills building seen today opened October 17, 1926, expanding on the original facility built in 1912. The doctors at the time presumed that the best treatment for tuberculosis was lots and lots of fresh air. So patients were wheeled out onto the large open air patios, regardless of how harsh the weather may be, inevitably making symptoms worse in the process. Waverly Hills was the site of many horrific experiments on patients in a seemingly desperate attempt to give them relief. Many of the infected had several ribs removed in hopes of giving their lungs room to expand. Some patients had balloons surgically inserted in their lungs in an attempt to inflate them. The survival rate was dismally low. The staff at Waverly Hills believed wheeling the dead through the facility in the sight of their charges would be bad for morale. So, a 525-foot tunnel, often referred to as the body chute, was used to get the deceased off the hill into waiting hearses as discreetly but effectively as possible. This would be the routine until antibiotics to fight tuberculosis were introduced in 1943. Inflow of new patients slowed drastically and the sanatorium closed in 1961. A year later, in 1962, the building was reopened as Woodhaven Geriatric Center, a facility for the elderly and the severely mentally handicapped. It was closed again in 1982 by the state of Kentucky due to alleged neglect of the patients. After years of patients being used as guinea pigs, as well as an estimated 9,000 deaths on the premises, a mark was left on the building. Many believe that a number of those tortured souls never left the grounds. In the years since closing, Hundreds, if not thousands, of paranormal experiences have taken place at Waverly Hills. Spirits of children laughing and moving kickballs. An apparition of a man in white walking into the kitchen, accompanied by the smell of food. Countless of spirits encountered in the body chute. One of the saddest tales is the legend of Room 502. As the story goes, in 1928, a nurse employed at Waverly Hills was pregnant. Unfortunately, she also contracted tuberculosis from her patients. She was devastated, knowing it was essentially an agonizing death sentence, not only for her, but the child she was carrying. In despair, the young woman decided to spare herself a prolonged end and took matters into her own hands, allegedly hanging herself in room 502. Many have had powerful experiences in the room, having run-ins with the nurse's spirit. It was specifically featured on Travel Channel's Ghost Adventures, where the team seemingly communicated with the specter using EVP and EMF technology. Today, Waverly Hills is open for guided tours. The current owners seem to have a genuine love and appreciation for the building and the spirits that seem to remain there. 
if you have a chance to visit, by all means have fun. But remember the pain and death that took place there. Make sure to show the reverence deserved for the souls lost and those that remain. I want to thank you so much for joining me on this trip under the veil. If you enjoy spooky things like this, please make sure to subscribe to the channel and ring the notification bell so you know when the next journey is about to begin. Thank you so much, friends. Good night.